trying to find a midwife in Germany could be something like. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This channel is for foreign mothers living in Germany, just like me. And on today's video, I'm going to talk about the hard job that is to find a midwife in Germany. And of course, all my tips and resources where you can search for a midwife and hopefully find one. <laughs> Let's start. A midwife can help you before, during and after birth. Uh, she can help you during preventive examinations with all your worries and fears. If there is any problem during your pregnancy with the prepartum courses, breastfeeding, also baby care and starting with solids, postpartum classes and many other services. So it's really worth to get a midwife here in Germany. I actually have a video just about how a midwife can help you after birth. Um, so when your baby arrives and I will leave it here on the cards. Don't forget to check it out. Midwives are usually swamped with work, especially in big cities. So it makes sense to start looking for a midwife as soon as you know that you're pregnant. But even if you live in a small city, it's not a bad idea to start looking for a midwife as soon as possible because then you have more time to find the perfect fit. But not all midwives offer all services. And also they restrict their services to a specific geographic area. So it would not make sense to get a midwife that is offering services in Berlin if you're spending your pregnancy and postpartum in Munich, for example. And now I'm going to tell you all about my ideas and resources where to search for a midwife and hopefully find one. And the first one is just ask a friend. Maybe you have a friend that is pregnant and has already a midwife or was pregnant and has already experienced with that midwife um, through pre, during and postpartum and um, she can advise you in the first hand how was her experience and that is priceless. Also this person would be a person that you trust. She would not tell you that a midwife um, experience was really good when it was not. Um, so this would be my first choice. Just ask a friend. And the second place where I would search for a midwife is the specific website for your federal state um, from the Midwives Association. And they have inside their websites, usually almost all states, not all of them, but almost all, uh, they have a um, sub website where they just have listed all midwives with their services and some other information that you could look for. Um, some of them even have the language um, or languages that the midwives speak. And that could be really helpful for expat mothers or future mothers. I will leave the links for all midwives associations, federal state websites that I found uh, on the description of this video. But also, if you want to see all the information on this video in a written format, I have it also on my website. The link for it is also in the description of this video. The third place where I would look for a midwife are these more general websites from whole Germany. And um, there are three main ones, the Hebammasuche, Amnelei or Amneli, and the, also the Spitzenverband. Those are websites very similar to the specific ones for the midwife associations for each federal German state, um, but um, they are just for whole Germany. But you can type there uh, your postal code or city and it restricts your search. And the fourth place where I would look for a midwife is Facebook. Facebook actually has many groups which only objective is to connect parents-to-be or mothers-to-be to midwives looking for a job. And they have some general groups but they mainly have just geographical restricted groups. And um, for that you will have to write Hebammenvermittlung and then the name of city. And some of the Facebook groups that are already existing are from Düren, Köln, Hamburg, Berlin, Brandenburg, Potsdam and Bonn. And at the fifth place of resources where I would look for a midwife um, are many organizations and institutions that could help you. For example, midwife um, clinics, which are Hebammenpraxis or um, Geburtshäuser, birth centers but also um, Entbindungskliniken or Geburtskliniken, which are maternity hospitals. Also, your gynecologist can help you to find a midwife. Actually, my gynecologist gave me this list. <laughs> she has written things um, for the first time. 
I was looking for a midwife for my first pregnancy and um, they have here a list of uh, midwives that work here around the area where we live, Heidelberg, Mannheim. Um, and it was really helpful. <clears throat> I even wrote here, <laughs> you can see now in the end I got this midwife here for the prepartum class. And I wrote here, for example, this one that I call, <laughs> I'll not tell the name, <laughs> but I wrote unfreundlich, which is unfriendly. So I put it out already because I didn't want um, this midwife, this specific midwife. But um, so a list like this, you can also maybe find on the other institutions I told you before. Your health insurance might also help you to find a midwife. You can call them and say that you cannot find one. And if they have extra resources on how to find a midwife or even a list that they could give you, um, yeah, that's also an option. Another group of institutions that could also help you to find a midwife are the family education centers or Familienbildungsstätte, also called as Haus der Familie, um, family's house. And um, in these centers, um, they offer education for families, parents, and also for children. They are usually organized by the church or non-profit organizations. And it could be that they have a list of midwives that they could give you. And the last institution where you can ask for help on finding a midwife are pharmacies. Maybe you have a pharmacy near our house. And then you can go there and just ask if they have a list of midwives. I don't believe all pharmacies have, but it doesn't hurt to ask. And the last place I would look for a midwife would be the Gelben Seiten. The Gelben Seiten are the yellow pages. And the yellow pages, maybe you know them because they are spread in many, many countries. It's just a directory, a very big one, a big book. I will leave it here, a picture of it. Um, with many businesses organized by alphabetical order. And it could be that you find there a midwife. But of course, this is the last resource because it would be too much time consuming just to look through the yellow pages. I think you already understood that you cannot be too picky because the offer of midwives here in Germany is really low. But maybe there are some specific services that are really important for you. And also it is important to know some German vocabulary to understand the performance of the midwives in these websites that I just mentioned before. So I'm going to go through two profiles that I've seen with you here right now. Let's start with the first one. Okay. So here we can see a profile of a midwife in the website hebammensuche.de and um, as we can see they divided uh, per topic in the profile and the first one is Schwangerschaft which means pregnancy and uh, this one says Beratung und Hilfe, Help and Advice, Versorgenuntersuchung um, so this is the um, uh, prevention examinations Risikobegleitung would be to accompany you during a pregnancy, there is of risk, Geburtsvorbereitung, Frauen, Geburtsvorbereitung, Paare. This means, as I understand, uh, this prepartum classes for women, so just for the pregnant woman, and prepartum classes for the couple. And also yoga. Um, I believe during pregnancy and maybe postpartum yoga also. Then they have the other topic, which is Geburt, and this is birth. And under this one, it's written Schichtens in Klinik. This would mean that this midwife is working in shifts in a hospital or maternity house. I don't, I'm not sure exactly. Clinic could be many things. Then Wochenbett, which will be this, I don't know, eight weeks or ten weeks after birth and is written as first Hausbesuche. This midwife will visit you at home or offers the service to visit you at home during postpartum. And then there is Hausbesuch Ambulant. Honestly, I don't know the difference between Hausbesuch and Hausbesuch Ambulant. I think this is very similar, but maybe it's not. If somebody knows exactly what it is, please leave me a comment on this video. Then Rückbildung would be the postpartum classes. Baby massager with message for babies. And this has to do with specific problems that the baby might have, for example, constipation. And Stillberatung, which is advice during breastfeeding. Then there is Zusätzlich Angebot, which is extra services. And under these extra services is key taping, which uh, stands for kinesio tape, acupuncture, uh, yoga with baby, which is yoga with 
baby and fit meet baby. I believe this is after the, the postpartum classes or postpartum gymnastics that um, you can also take these extra classes. And then under languages, you can find English, which is English, Französisch, which is French, Griechisch, which is Greek, and Niederländisch, which is Dutch. And this is the education, the qualified education they have would be interesting to know, but I believe that no a midwife is allowed to be in any of these data um, search engines or websites without any former education. And then it's like in clinic slash pra praxis, which is in the hospital. Um, and they say they work in a specific hospital. And then you have all the geographic areas also where she offers her services. And now let's check the second example. This one is from the Hebammenverband Baden-Württemberg. So this is the Midwives Association in Baden-Württemberg, which is actually the state where we live. We live in Heidelberg, a city in Baden-Württemberg. And um, this specific Hebamme midwife has here her address under her name. And then there is a telephone number, an email and a website. And she has even a picture. I think not every uh, midwife puts a picture on their profile, but it's nice to see it. So the first topic is Schwangerschaft. Um, pregnancy and uh, they say Schwangerschaftsvorsorge so every exam that you need uh, during pregnancy and then it's written Risiko Schwangeren Begleitung which is accompaniment of um, pregnant women who have some kind of risk or problems during pregnancy and then Schwangerenberatung advice during pregnancy and then it's written Wendenhilfe by Steislagen, which means when the baby has a different position, so it's not with the head down, it's not anterior, it's bridge or even transverse, then there is the need to turn the baby. So this midwife would also offer that service. And then Stilvorbereitungskurse. That's interesting. That's the first time I'm seeing this. This will be a training for, I believe, mothers to be, to prepare you for just for breastfeeding. So it's not Geburt, it's not for delivery, for birth, but still, stillen is breastfeeding. And then the other topic is Geburtsvorbereitung. So now will be the normal, the usual uh, curses that we know. And um, the prepartum curses. And there is one for couples, one for mm, many couples. I don't know if they do or she does like private curse for one couple and then maybe she has another curse for... Mm, more couples and then she has the normal curse i believe this one usually is just for the pregnant woman and then one weekend curse she didn't put anything under geburtshilfe which will be to help during birth um, i believe it's because she's not offering any service in these matters actually this is quite usual because you have uh, these midwife services that you're looking for uh, for prepartum and postpartum. During birth, you usually go to a hospital and in the hospital, there are the midwives working there. So you don't bring your own midwife. Of course, you can do it. But as far as I know, this will be an extra service and um, therefore you will have to pay also extra for that. Your statutory health insurance will not cover it. And then there is another topic, which is Wochenbett. During Wochenbett, postpartum, this postpartum weeks. It's interesting because the direct translation is Wochenbett, bed is bed, and Wochen is week. So it's like the weeks you spend in the bed. <laughs> and um, she says she accompanies you, Wochenbett Betreuung. She wrote also Stillberatung, which is advice during breastfeeding. Stillgruppenbetreuung, uh, this would be... She has a group of mothers who are breastfeeding and uh, she advises them, I believe. I don't know exactly how this group is built, maybe online, or maybe they meet once a week, I don't know. Then Beikosten Einführung, this will be the start with solids, Ernährungsberatung, uh, this will be nutrition <coughs> advice. I believe this is for the mother, because we have already Beikost Einführung, but maybe also for the baby, not sure. And then baby massage like the other uh, midwife before. And then under Ruckbildung, which will be the postpartum, they have this Ruckbildungsgymnastik, postpartum gymnastics. And the next topic is weitere qualifizierte Ausbildungen. This will be further education, qualified education. 
this midwife has, and she wrote there under Akupunktur, which is Akupunktur, Homopathy, which is Homeopathy, Stillen und Laktationsberaterin, and this is to advise during breastfeeding, uh, Trauerarbeit, I believe this is in case of stillbirth. She had an extra qualification on this topic, and trauma is traumatic if you live through a traumatic um, experience. She has also an extra qualification for that. Then uh, she has also qualification as yoga teacher, and she even has one extra qualification on osteopathy, osteopathic craniosacral behandlung. So she, I believe this is for babies, and she would do some kind of, if needed, manipulation, uh, craniosacral manipulation or treatment if needed. I'm not sure if this will be part of her advice and services or if you would have to pay extra if needed. But anyways, this will be the person that will be with you and she can advise you if she thinks it's needed or not. And then she has languages also. This demon, she can also speak English, Russian and Spanish. That's really nice. In some of these platforms that I mentioned, you can also post a small text, for example, on Facebook, uh, explaining your situation. If that's the case, I created a text in German, which you can choose options and adapt to your situation and just copy paste one of those platforms. And uh, this text has all relevant links and information about this video, you can find on the description of this video. But just so you know, it is really important to have the following information. When is your due date? Which type of health insurance you have? Where do you live? If this is your first, second, third, fourth delivery. And also, if um, you would prefer a specific language. For example, you might speak German, but you don't feel that comfortable. Then you can write something like, would be nice if you would speak English. Or would be nice if you would speak Russian. You can also write there, if you would like, uh, if there is a specific service that you really would like the midwife to offer, like prepartum classes or postpartum classes or advice during breastfeeding. But keep in mind that you cannot be too picky. You know why. And uh, actually, it's not that bad. I could not find a midwife that would offer me everything for my first pregnancy. So I got the prepartum classes with one midwife and this midwife told me she would not have time to accompany me during the postpartum, the Wochenbett, this time that we are supposed to um, get a custom of a new baby and also give our body some time to recover. And she advised me another one, her friend. And then uh, this friend was my midwife during this time, the postpartum. But then they, so this one that was with me during postpartum and this one that was with me um, during prepartum classes, they uh, had together a postpartum curse. But I could not attend that one because that one was just for mothers without their babies. And uh, I didn't have anywhere to leave my baby because my husband was working until late uh, during that time. So they advised me another midwife or recommended me another midwife um, and she was offering postpartum classes with babies. Actually, it was really nice because in these postpartum classes, we are all foreigners. Um, and I know I like also to have some German colleagues. Also, I learn a lot with them. But it was also nice to have a group just with foreigner mothers, just like me. And uh, we shared a lot. And the classes were kind of German-English. I really liked those. Yeah, so uh, maybe you find a midwife uh, for a specific service and then you can find another midwife for other service. I really hope this video helps you to find a midwife. And if you have further questions or comments, please leave a comment on the comment section here below. And don't forget that all relevant information and links are on the description of this video also here down below. Don't forget to check my next video. It will be about some German difficult names that I cannot really pronounce. Even if I like some of those, I would never name a child of mine uh, with one of those because I cannot say it properly. If you would like to know which names I'm talking about, don't forget to check my next video. Thank you so much to watch this video until now. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I will be really, really grateful if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. And um, feel free to connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, 
or Facebook. And see you on the next video. Bye. Adios.